If anything, my struggle may have been attached to hijab sometimes, trying to uh, make people kind of understand what it is. Hi, my name is Maria Idrissi. I'm a model and public speaker. In terms of me identifying as a Muslim and then identifying as a woman of colour is like two different kind of worlds in itself because I'm kind of representing both but then sometimes they don't always go hand in hand. Definitely a lot of expectations and I'm in an industry where it's constantly being attacked for not being diverse enough. So I'm now battling obviously my career as well. Do I just stick to fashion and just be a face for modest fashion? But I was like, no, because I'm getting so many questions about my religion. It wasn't just about fashion, it was quite political. So I said, okay, I can either again, stay quiet and just be this face. But I was like, no, I need to be a voice as well. If I'm getting asked these questions, it's now my responsibility to represent my faith as well, even though I shouldn't have to. Initially from the Muslim community, it was because again, when you're the first anything, it's a shock and they don't know how to take it. So, you know, there was, it was like 50-50. I had so many people supporting it and so many people against it. It was a struggle trying to balance like faith and then fashion and trying to, you know, just make people understand like, I wear hijab, Yes, I'm representing my religion 24-7 when I'm seen, but at the same time, there's so much more beyond my hijab. It wasn't really a target at that, it was a target of the fact that I was modelling now. So I was taking that modest fashion industry into a new realm and making it a little bit more mainstream and making people that are non-Muslim also aware of our industry. And I think that's what shook people up a little bit where, oh, do we want to take it out of our little bubble? For me, I feel like the reason why I haven't had any Islamophobia, I haven't had any like racism, I feel that's because of the energy that I give off as well. I never look at my difference as something that's um, a negative. I look at it as this is my asset. The fact that I'm walking into a room and I'm the only woman of my background with a hijab on her head, I like embrace, I own it. And then people are more drawn to me because of that. I don't shy away and feel insecure and, oh, that person's looking at me funny because I don't look like, no, I'll be like, she's looking at me funny because I look good. One thing, and this is a battle that I had in all honesty with myself was, how do you balance the hijab, which represents modesty and kind of represents um, basically taking yourself out of the public eye to then put it in an industry where that's what it's all about. And that's why I said from the get go, I don't care whether I'm supposed to just stay quiet and just be a face. Like, I can't do that because for me, that's misrepresenting a Muslim woman in, in the industry. Like, I have to have a voice to go along with it. There has to be substance. There has to be a purpose to why I do what I do. So I think it's important for women like myself to be out there for the, for the very reason that it still exists, like the prejudice still exists. I was exposed to a new world where I'm speaking to journalists from Belgium who have never had a one-on-one -on -one conversation with a Muslim woman before. And they're asking me off the record just general questions about Islam. And it's like, there is a big gap here that no one's filled. It's still important to remember what the actual message of hijab is and sometimes I do feel there is a very thin line and that line does become very blurred and I see it within myself and this is my own industry and sometimes I'm kind of like, I don't know, but because I know what I'm doing is beyond fashion, beyond beauty, that comes with it, you know, that's how I started, but that's not how I'm ending. But I always say like modesty starts from within, you know, it's, it's mainly, it is about your character, it's about, it's more, it's beyond just how you look, it's about your mannerisms, how you treat other people, it's all these things that definitely are more powerful than obviously your appearance. Keep the